There's really not a ton of wrestling news today. There's not a lot of crazy going on. We got Monday Night Raw tonight, so I hope you guys uh, check that out. But I have a little bit of a uh, little bit of wrestling news here for you. And uh, but before I do that, I do want to plug that um, up on Patreon right now is a 30-minute produced podcast that I think you should enjoy. And for the people that don't know, I I, uh, I put it up there. Uh, now you know that I put it up there. It's also, uh, there's some samples of it available on iTunes and Spotify, but of course a full episode uh, is available of Meant to Offend podcast. So Meant to Offend podcast is up. It's 35 minutes long. You can download it on Patreon, play it on Patreon, whatever you want to do on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin show. Go check it out. Uh, it's obviously meant to offend. Uh, so enjoy that. Um, but as far as wrestling news goes today, there's really not a ton of wrestling news. Um, Slammiversary happened last night. I just haven't watched Slammiversary in years because, um, number one, whenever I, whenever I reviewed Slammiversary and things in, in the past, uh, six years, the numbers are almost atrocious. Nobody ever supports those streams ever. And, um, just, TNA themselves have treated me like garbage. So all the worst things, you, you make no money, you have the lowest viewership, and the company literally hates you as a person. So, and I know that, that Impact does not like me. So uh, it goes all the way back to when the Hardys were there. And so I will not, I just don't give a crap. I hope that company goes out of business. Like legitimately, I hate them. So I just don't care. I don't care if they're better than WWE. I'm sure they are. An indie show tomorrow night in Baton Rouge, Louisiana is going to be better uh, than WWE. So I, I couldn't care about that. Um, but we haven't really talked a lot about Tim White, man. Rest in peace to Tim White. He was a great referee. Uh, and I absolutely, I know that everyone always, unfortunately, one of, I mean, fortunately or unfortunately, everybody always brings up Tim White's suicide videos that that when WWE.com was trying to push WWE.com and, and things like that um, they had this kind of web series on their web on their website uh, of Tim White wanting to kill himself I guess or whatever it was I thought those were hilarious I like really enjoyed them and I do think it was one of the more memorable things he did because it was a character type of thing it wasn't just that he was a referee but I mean he'll always really be re you know to me remembered as a great referee uh, from 1985 and, and, and on, you know what I mean? Um, uh, he's just always been great. And, uh, he got hurt in 2002 during uh, judgment day. Uh, he came back to the WWE and then after that he was kind of like, you know, beaten up and stuff like that. And they came up with other things for him to do. And, you know, I, I just, uh, you, you, we're not going to do the justice that we we could do to doing a whole stream about Tim White's career, which we, we probably can do and will do, but, um, just man, rest in peace to Tim White. He was an awesome referee. Um, I loved him as f for a referee and a character and somebody who contributed to the company that we all grew up watching. And I, I certainly grew up watching since 1980, uh, in, in 1988 or so was around the first time I started watching WWE. Um, you know, it's just sad because I, because I, the guy's a big part of, to me, of WWE and a big part of things that I loved. Um, Daniel Bryan obviously is injured. We know this. Um, and Daniel Bryan is not medically clear, cleared to compete at Forbidden Door. So we probably won't see Daniel Bryan at Forbidden Door, which I already said this, uh, for the past week or so that you're not going to see Daniel Bryan at Forbidden Door. So I don't know why anything would change at this point. And um, obviously more information on the Vince McMahon stuff. We're still waiting on more of that. And uh, that's about it, man. For me, I haven't slept well and haven't really uh, done anything well. Um, you know, I uh, I took the trash out at 4 a.m. last night. I, uh, I used T-shirts to uh, wipe up spilled water and clean my face. And, uh, I had to borrow a couple bucks off of my eight year old because, uh, we needed to get some things. So I don't know. I don't know if there's a such thing called white trash bingo, but if there is a thing called white trash bingo, I think I've got bingo. 
There's a few other things over the last couple of days that I said, you know, this got to be a white trash thing, you know. So I, I, I've, I'm doing pretty well at white trash bingo. Or if it's like white trash loser bingo, I'm doing pretty well at it uh, so far. So that's where I'm at. Tonight's Monday Night Raw, and quite honestly, if it, if I didn't have such a bad Saturday and Sunday night, um, I probably would not go live for Raw tonight because I'd say, well, I'm skipping this because I don't care. And But we do have the Raw preview. For, but I do have the Raw preview here, so let's just uh, depress ourselves. Um, I don't care. I guess Elias is going to meet his brother Ezekiel. I mean, though, that'll be some dumb video thing. I'm sure maybe it will be. I don't think it's funny anymore. I, I thought this was funny. I actually did like it originally with Kevin Owens, but you know, I don't know. I just, I'm over it now. I, I, I maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm 50, 50, I suppose. But the part, there's a big part of my brain that's like, no, this is just stupid. Um, WWE is promoting the return of Elias. Who cares? I mean, this is really bad. This is what they're talking about. Um, the following lineup is being promoted on Raw. Money in the Bank qualifying match with Asuka and Becky Lynch again. And Elias to return to Raw to confront his little brother. I mean, that's literally... Those are the things being advertised. And all I can think is that I would rather watch The Miz and Misses. And I know what you're saying, you know, maybe not. You know, why would you watch The Miz and Misses? And uh, the reason I would rather watch The Miz and Misses is because of Maurice's tweet, which uh, says, Daddy is going to get detention tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, so that I thought this was a promotion for her being on Raw. And if this was a promotion for her being on Raw, then I would be watching uh, Monday Night Raw for sure. But no, this is a promotion for the Miz and Misses. And uh, boy, are we all missing out, I guess. Anyway, like I said, there's a brand new 35-minute episode. You haven't heard it anywhere. 35-minute episode. I just put it up. It's on uh, the Patreon now of uh, meant to offend so please uh, go listen to that and enjoy it it's up right now on patreon.com slash joe cronin show uh, go take a listen to that feel free to leave a super thanks down below and the, if anybody does i will pin the top one if there is one to the top of this video See you tonight for the Monday Night Raw Review.